Tracking Hurricane Lee. Big question people are really asking, Tony. When are we going to see any potential impacts from the storm? Still looks like the timeline is a kind of a late Friday night, Saturday morning. Feel as though the center of the storm won't necessarily make landfall. In fact, we look at this graphic. You know, uh, a hurricane is certainly not a pinpoint on a map. It has width. So even with the forecast track taking it only 160 miles uh, east of Cape Cod, because the storm is so wide, we can still get sort of grazing effects here, especially across southeastern mass with some some rain and some wind so that's something that we'll watch uh, very closely uh, we're going to talk about um, lee in more detail in just a second i want to first highlight once again uh, the short-term concern which is uh the flood watch i mean here we go again again the area is in green starting tomorrow tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening localized heavy downpours and some thunderstorms in the meantime it's quiet skies are generally clear it's uh mild temperatures in the low 70s so many factors and ingredients go to explain why we've had such a wet summer and so many big flooding episodes. This is a big one. Dew points, humidity, they have been so elevated this summer, many, many days. And this acts as fuel uh, to, to help to, to develop uh, strong thunderstorms and in some cases tornadoes, downpours and, and very heavy rain. And once again, the dew points are high. So the fuel is there to kind of ring out the atmosphere of downpours tomorrow. So our threat tracker is elevated for obvious reasons. Tomorrow, scattered showers and thunders, some heavy. And once again, any flooding would tend to be localized. So not every neighborhood getting these downpours, but the flooding risk is there so we're quiet for now the system that we're watching for Wednesday is a front it's right in here that tracks to the east tomorrow I'm thinking it starts late morning it goes through the afternoon and evening hours before improving weather on Thursday I want to show you Hurricane Lee this is Margot on the other side of the Atlantic not a concern if you've been watching our satellite photos the last couple of days the one thing you may be noticing here's southern New England is that the the width of the storm is getting larger so it's expanding in size, even though the wind is still at 115, it's covering more area now as far as the diameter. So with that said, you can have the center of the storm pass, you know, 200 miles off the coastline, but still get, you know, fringe effects in terms of some rain and some wind. So here's the latest from the Hurricane Center, Cat 3 storm. The, the new data is coming in in about 45 minutes from now. Uh, winds of 115 moving northwest at 7. The forecast track has it turned to the north. Here it is Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock, Friday night, Saturday morning, making its closest pass, even though the center is offshore. But again, it's only offshore of Cape Cod by 160 miles, but the storm has width to it. So even though the center is offshore, you can still throw back some rain and some wind grazing effects. Now the magnitude of the grazing effects will determine just where exactly the storm tracks offshore. So this is kind of a we take a look at the other computer models that we use. All these white lines represent a, a potential forecast track. And notice how they're all clustered offshore. But also notice that there are a lot that are over to a little closer to the coastline. So should the storm track a little closer to the coast, the impacts are a little higher. This is a first call. Don't let this be the first or the last forecast map that you see. But we're indicating any potential impacts with rain and wind are highest across east coastal mass in the Cape. Medium, New Bedford, out inside of Route 495, and then lower the further west you go. But should this storm track a little closer to the coastline, then these magnitude um, uh, contours have to change as well. So uh, it may not be a direct hit. It is certainly impactful. One thing's for sure, late week, Thursday, especially Friday and Saturday, very large surf. In the meantime, tomorrow morning, clouding up, storms arriving by uh, late morning, and certainly scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, during the afternoon hours, and continuing to the evening, some localized street flooding. Better Thursday, Friday day looks okay. All eyes on Friday night and into at least Saturday morning, especially across east coastal southern New England. We'll keep you updated. Better weather, Mike and Shannon, on Sunday.